Okay, so you want to cook a breakfast pancake. This is my famous recipe. I've been working on this over the past four years. Ruined a lot of pans doing it because once the non-stick goes away, it doesn't work too well. But we've got a fresh pan here. It's heating up. What you want to do, start off, heat it up to about half heat. This is, it's not scientific. I don't know what setting you'll have on yours. Mine, I just put it to halfway vertically. So that's heating up. And now, simplest recipe ever. Banana, whole banana, one cup of oats, half a carton of egg whites. So 250 mils of egg whites, in other words. I've got a handful of frozen berries, some almond butter to top it off at the end. Then a teaspoon of each flax seeds and psyllium husk. These two are optional. You'll get 90% of the benefits out of every ingredient but this. It's going to be high in protein, high in fiber, two servings of fruit. Got some awesome fats in there with the coconut oil. Oh, I'll show you the coconut oil in a second. And the uh, almond butter. So put the oats in there. Fill it up with the egg white. Pour the psyllium husk and seeds in. And then we'll crack the nana. This one's probably a bit too, not ripe enough yet, but that's all right. That'll do. All right. It's ready to mix up. Nutribullet, cover your ears for this one. About 10, 15 seconds on the Nutribullet. We've got the coconut oil. Let's get some. About a teaspoon of coconut oil. on the preheated pan. Give it a swirl around. I use, I use coconut oil so that it doesn't damage the spray, the, the non-stick filament on the pan. If you use spray oil, some non-stick pans don't really like it. So, that's just what I've heard over and read about non-stick pans. So I use the, the cooking version of coconut oil, or any oil for that fact. So we're just gonna pour this on here. Should cover the entire pan, depending how big your pan is. Now this is a pretty big serving. I haven't worked out the macronutrients fully in my fitness pal, but it would be at least 500 calories. I'll work them out by the end of the video. But, give that a rinse, and here's the trick. Because it's so big and thick, you want to get some alfoil, cover it up, like this. Or if your pan has a cover, even better. This is my trick, so that I mold the alfoil to the size of the pan. Boom, there we go. Now we're gonna set a timer. Should take about nine, 10 minutes. So we'll get that going. And we're back with the finished product. All right, let's check it out. Look at that goodness. All right, so we're gonna been cooking for about 10 minutes now on one side so the other side won't need as long. Let's see how this flip goes. It's pretty heavy. I may need two hands for this. Oh. Yeah buddy. So we got the flip down. 
it's gonna need about, about another five minutes, I reckon. And then uh, we'll be ready to put some toppings on and some berries, actually. I'm gonna put the, the mixed berries are frozen. So, fix that. Put a handful in a bowl, 60 seconds in the microwave. We Gucci. Right, so the creation should be ready. Look at that, the beauty of a non-stick pan. Now we get it on the plate. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna add some almond butter. Probably about, about a tablespoon. Might have put the camera down for this. Heaped tablespoon. Spread that out a bit. All right, now we get the berries. Get the berries. Camera's about to die. Top it off. Come on. She lives. Look at that. Gordon Ramsay himself. Beautiful. So I worked the macronutrients out as well. Camera's about to fail as well. That's all right, let's fix it, fix, figure this out. So, 801 calories, if you can't read that. We got, let me find out. As I said, you could have this as two meals. This is definitely big enough for two meals. 47 grams of protein, 94 grams of carbs, 12 grams of fiber, probably more actually. 18 grams of sugar from the berries and the banana, so it's fructose and 28 grams of fat. This is probably my favorite breakfast at the moment. And as I've said, it's taken me years to master this recipe and I finally nailed it. This tastes good. You can add some chocolate, chocolate whey protein or whatever flavored whey protein and make it tastier. I, I personally like fruit. I don't have much whey protein, but yeah, try it out. Tell me what you think. If you've got a better recipe, let me know. Otherwise, it's the first episode of um, Cooking Adventures with your boy Born. <laughs> That's not the title of the show. Have an awesome day. I'll catch you later.